I guarantee you when you're fishing these small bodies of water like this, you're always going to be around fish. And it's about making enough casts or making the right casts to finally get one to bite. actually a perfect textbook winter day to be throwing a spinner bait. The sun's just beating down on this water, warming this water up, and these fish are going to be coming from out deep up shallow, vulnerable to a reaction bait like a spinner bait. So when people normally think of spinner baits, they think of it as kind of a covering water bait, which it's really, really awesome at doing. But when you're fishing these small ponds like this, there's not a lot of water to actually cover. Look at it as I'm going to make as many casts as I can in the same spot and maybe try and get these fish fired up to bite kind of bait. So the bait we're throwing today is the Booyah Indiana and Colorado Tandem Blade Spinner Bait. This bait comes in a 3 8 ounce size. Great for just chucking around these small little ponds because it's not going to run too deep so you can bring that up in the shallow where these fish are going to be in the winter time. Oh. <laughs> I've added a Yum Swimming Grub trail to the back of this. Gives a nice flutter when it's in the water and it matches this coleslaw skirt pattern. There's one. Pretty nice one too. Here, bud. Woo. Nothing better than wintertime spinner baiting. Oh, that one, huh? Look how he ate it, too. Look at that. Choked it. Whew. I say that's how you know you're throwing the right bait right there is when they choke it like that. When we say a tandem style of blade, this front blade right here is going to be a lot smaller than this rear blade. This is a style that's preferred by a lot of fishermen, and it generally catches a lot of fish. Here's our Indiana blade in the middle right here, teardrop shape. This is a willow blade on the left side of it, and that willow blade is a little bit thinner, and you're not going to get as much vibration with that as you will with this Indiana or this Colorado, which is the extreme kind of vibration, real, real erratic thumping action. So this Indiana blade kind of gives us the best of both worlds when it comes to both of these willow and Colorado blades. There had to have been something living in there. Oh, there he is. Well, they're out there. Nice one. Oh. Here it comes. Oh. Oh, Woo. Really all I did there is I just cast it parallel to the bank. When you get a warming period like it has been in the winter, I think it's like 65 degrees right now. These fish are going to come up from the deeps. They're going to transition up shallow. That's why when you cast parallel like that, you're going to keep your bait in the strike zone for the longest time possible. When you're throwing a spinner bait, it's super important to make sure you've got the right setup. A big thing is having the correct rod tip. Make sure you have something that's got either a medium fast or a, just a fast action. I prefer bait casters actually over spinning rods. Bait casters generally have a higher gear ratio. It's easier for you to either speed that spinner bait up or slow it down in the water column just by slowing your reel handle cranking down just a little bit or speeding it up just a little bit faster. You just have that option a lot easier than you do with a spinning reel. When you're throwing a spinner bait, always throw towards the windy side of the pond like this. Late winter, these fish usually they'll stack up on this side just because this is where it's going to be blowing all the bait towards this end of the pond. There's one. And I was watching the cows. It's hard to tell when you get these bites because they don't hit it super hard. It kind of loads up like a sponge, you know? But when you do, you got to set the hook hard because that spinner bait's only got one hook. Make sure you drill that into their mouth. Winter is a great time to be throwing a spinner bait on a pond, especially on a warm, sunny day like this. Fish are going to be positioned up shallow and ready to bite. 